the complex vertebrate skull is composed of three different regions. The splanchnocranium, the gill arch skeleton, the chondrocranium, uh, composed of cartilage, and the dermatocranium, composed of dermal bone. Here in these images of a primitive jawless fish, the lamprey, the most primitive vertebrate alive today, you can observe the splanchnocranium primarily, the cartilage which supports the gill arches. Uh, there is also a little bit of a condocranium, uh, which is the cartilage which would surround uh, the ear uh, region and uh, the eye region and provide some support under the brain. The skull of a shark is lacking the dermatocranium, the part of the skull made of hard dermal bone, but it does possess both a chondrocranium and a splanchnocranium. The splanchnocranium is visible here. This would include the gill arch supports, uh, the cartilage, which occurs in separate segments, and we can name uh, the separate uh, segments. Uh, this is uh, very important as uh, the gills uh, then can uh, move to help uh, promote uh, the flow of uh, water. And sharks are jawed fish, and the first jaws evolved by modifying the first gill arches. So the first gill arch was modified to, perf uh, to form the palato quadrate. This is the cartilage of the upper jaw. Meckel's cartilage, this is the cartilage of the lower jaw, and the second uh, gill arch was then modified to form the hyomandibula, which supports the jaws. In sharks, the chondrocranium is much more extensive than it was in lampreys. It completely encloses the brain, and it also encloses sensory structures of the head and protects them. Here in the dorsal view, one can observe the rostrum, which supports the snout, the antorbital process and postorbital process, which help protect and support the eye. Uh, the otic capsule, which uh, surrounds the ear and protects it. And also the epiphyseal foramen, uh, which is the region where the pineal organ uh, perceives uh, light in primitive uh, vertebrates as light enters the top of the skull roof. In this ventral view, uh, one can observe the nasal capsules, uh, which uh, protect uh, olfaction, uh, the otic capsule, uh, once again protecting hearing, uh, and then this fragile optic pedicel. There would actually be two, but one has broken off. This is present in cartilaginous fish, but also uh, the first bony fish. It uh, helped uh, support uh, the eye. And also the basal plate, so that the entire brain is encased in cartilage. Here in the lateral view, one can observe uh, not only uh, the rostrum, the nasal capsule, but also a supraorbital crest, helping to protect uh, the eye, the optic foramen, the opening for the optic nerve, and once again, the otic capsule. A posterior view would also then show the foramen magnum, where the spinal cord enters uh, the skull to become the brain. 